Saturday Sun of Kai and tops the company S charts. In Australia, for example, the smaller Mac and compact SUV a natural follow-up to the big SUV S chart busting success accounts for 50% of Porsche sales. But the Kai N, with a 30% share, remains the company S number 2 here. The completely new model shown on Tuesday indicates Porsche do SFT think it should mess with success. At first glance, the third generation Cayenne looks like the 2009 second generation model it replaces but the more shapely rear resembles the Macan S. Longer and wider than before, the new Cayenne is also a fraction lower. Passenger space remains the same and cargo volume grows by up to 100 liters, a useful amount. Widespread use of aluminium in the body, including all external panels, helps reduce weight by up to 65 kilograms. The most basic versions will still weigh at about 2 tons but this will be the lightest Cayenne yet built. Change is easier to find inside the new Cayenne S cabin. A big and bright 12.3-inch high-definition touchscreen occupies the center of the dashboard and, the big central tachometer apart, the instruments are all high-def screens as well. The smooth glass center console surround is home to a bunch of buttons that deliver both audio and haptic feedback that is, they feel and sound like old-school physical buttons.